Hey, welcome back. Okay, so we got the heart urn done. So we're gonna go ahead and keep rolling with this and we're gonna try the butterfly next. I anticipate the butterfly being harder, but hopefully we don't have any mishaps like the last one. All right, let's uh, get to flattening this. Another little uh, piece of refurbished furniture. <laughs> Works pretty good. Got her flipped over. Now let's uh, do the reveal cut. That'll show the shape of the butterfly and what you're gonna be seeing here. And then after that, we'll knock the holes in for the magnet and then start working on the main cavity of the urn itself. Got some good tabs this time, look at that. Clean her up a little bit. Cleaned up a little bit, a little bit of sanding on it, and that's coming right along. So next we'll do the lid. And that'll be the matching shape and everything, but it's gonna have the inlay like the heart did. So we got the piece for the top glued in. Uh, it's 0. 0.6 inches thick. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna do the reveal pass just to level everything out and kind of clean it up and get it ready. And then we'll do the, um, I'm gonna have to switch over to a quarter inch or an eighth inch bit 
so that I can do the pockets for the design on the top of it. And then I'm gonna have to switch back to a quarter or a, yeah, a quarter inch bit to cut it out. It's a little bit of a process this time, but I really want the details for them pockets because that's where the epoxy's getting put in. So uh, without further ado, let's get this going. Quick tip for you too, I don't know if a lot of people know about this or not, but when I went to loosen this up, this bit didn't want to quite fall out. So all I do is I use my wrench and tap the nut and it makes all the crud come out from underneath of here. Eventually you got to get in there and clean it, but just for safety purposes I always give it a little tap. See the stuff falling out? See that? It's not good, actually. You know what? this off really quick yeah see in there let's see if I can get this on camera or not it's too dark in here let's see there you go see that so make sure to clean your collet once in a while back on she goes oh wait hold on. might as well pull the insert out too Pretty and clear. So really, it was just underneath of this nut. It was all jammed. I'll grab this. We'll put this back on. Put in our eighth inch bit. I'm just kind of holding on to it while I tighten it until it gets to the. Yeah. I just put these routers. I'm used to them upside down. There we go. Alright, we got the new bit in. Let's uh, give this new one a pass here. More good tabs. Awesome. I decided to go with point one for the thickness of my tabs, just in case you have a little miscalculation. Get the third degree on it. We still have a little bit of hole in the wood, worst case scenario. So we'll trim off the tabs, but I'm gonna, we're gonna lay the epoxy and we'll show you the finished product. <laughs> 